Most programmers want to avoid mistakes at all cost, but that's actually a flawed mindset. Failure is an essential part of growth in programming. When you avoid failure, you miss out on the critical lessons it can teach you about debugging, problem solving and adapting to an unexpected challenges. Sure, it feels good to avoid mistakes, but think about it. Every error message or a bug you encounter is an opportunity to deepen your understanding. If you only stick to what you are comfortable with, you'll never stretch yourself to tackle more complex problems. Now, you might argue that I don't want to waste time on fixing mistakes I could avoid. That's fair, but here's the truth. Fixing those mistakes is where you learn the most. Avoiding failure means you are delaying your own growth. A quick fix might seem efficient, but long term it keeps you from becoming the adaptable programmer you need to be. So by embracing failure, you build resilience and the ability to troubleshoot faster. The more you fail, the more you'll succeed in the long run. Tutorials are great for learning, but relying on them too much can become a crutch. If you always follow a step-by-step -step guide, you are not training yourself to think independently. That's why if you are relying on tutorials weekly, taking a week off from tutorials can be a game changer for your growth. I know it's tempting to reach for a tutorial every time you hit a snag in your code. After all, why struggle when you could have the answer spoon-fed to you? It's a good question, but here's the issue. When you only follow tutorials, you are not developing your own problem-solving skills. You might think, but what if I get stuck and can't move forward without one? That's exactly the point. Forcing yourself to find solutions without tutorials strengthens your critical thinking and forces you to dig deeper into documentation and your own logic. Tutorials teach you the how, but skipping them for a while teaches you the why behind your solutions. So after a week of no tutorials, you'll have a newfound confidence in your ability to solve problems independently. You'll rely less on external guidance and more on your own skills. Programming often feels overwhelming when you face a massive problem head on. That's why it's critical to break it down into smaller, more manageable parts. This habit not only helps you stay organized, but also allows you to solve each piece with clarity and without feeling overwhelmed. We have all faced that moment of staring at a huge problem and feeling paralyzed by its complexity. It's easy to think, how am I ever going to get this done? But when you start breaking the problem into bite-sized chunks, everything becomes clearer. Sure, it might feel slower to take this extra step at first, but solving one small piece at a time leads to quicker overall progress. Instead of feeling stuck on a giant task, you'll now be crossing off one piece at a time, making steady progress. Not breaking things down only leads to frustration and you'll often waste time going in circles. So breaking problems into smaller pieces makes even the most intimidating projects easier to handle. You'll see faster progress and reduce the stress that comes with tackling large challenges. Organization is a skill often overlooked by programmers, but it can make or break your productivity. Planning ahead and keeping your projects well structured ensures you avoid the chaos of messy code bases and missed deadlines. You might think you don't need to waste time on meticulous planning or organizing files. But let's be real, how many times have you wasted hours hunting down a piece of code or retracting your steps because things weren't clear from the start. You might argue, but hey, I just want to get coding, not spend hours planning. But the thing is, a little time up front saves you exponentially more time down the road. When your code base is organized and you have a solid plan, you can work faster, solve problems more efficiently and collaborate better with others. This organized work, on the other hand, leads to endless frustration and wasted time. So by staying organized and planning ahead, 
you create a smoother workflow and drastically reduce time spent on avoidable issues. You will work faster and with less stress. It's easy to get caught up in the gear, like fancy laptops, custom keyboards or the latest software tools. But focusing too much on equipment can distract you from what really matters, which is coding. Your code will speak for itself regardless of what gear you use. It's tempting to believe that having the best tools will make you a better programmer. But the truth is, obsessing over hardware and software upgrades won't make you better at problem solving or writing efficient code. But isn't having good tools important, you might ask? Well, sure, but only after you have mastered the fundamentals. The tools can complement your skills, but they won't replace them. So instead of chasing the perfect setup, invest that time in learning and improving your craft. So by focusing on your coding skills rather than the gear, you will produce better work regardless of the tools you have. The best results come from sharp skills, not shiny gadgets. I hope you found this video at least somewhat helpful and if you did, please hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.